Today we're going to address four of the best countries to be in during a global catastrophe. 1. Paraguay. Paraguay's water game is strong. With the Paraguay River and other water bodies, they've got about 50,000 to 68,000 cubic meters of renewable fresh water per person per year. That's a nice big glass of fresh water for each Paraguayan every year. Let's talk longevity. If Paraguay keeps their water clean and doesn't go crazy using it up, they're set for the long haul. It's like having a lifetime supply of agua if they play their cards right. How about electricity? Paraguay's electricity game is pretty impressive too. Have you heard of that Itaipo dam? It's a real powerhouse, seriously. Producing roughly a hundred billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. That's enough juice to light up a small country. As long as they keep those dams humming, don't let them fall apart. Paraguay's electricity should be rocking for generations. It's like having your own never-ending supply of energy drinks. Let's talk food. Paraguay's farming is pretty impressive too. They are one of the world's top soybean producers, cranking out around 10 million metro tons of soya beans every year. Plus Plus, they're into maize and weed big time. There's a catch though. Let's talk about sustainability. You see, they've got to be careful with their land. Deforestation is a bit of a problem in Paraguay. If they keep cutting down forests, it can hurt the soil and biodiversity. You see, they need to be smart about it to keep the food train rolling. In terms of how long these resources will last, it's a bit like having a full tank of gas. If Paraguay manages the electricity, water and farming wisely, they could keep the party going for a long time. Like decades or even centuries. But you see it's all about responsible use. And making sure these resources are here for Paraguay's great grandkids and beyond. Two. Italy. All right, let's crunch some numbers so we can give you a more comprehensive picture of Italy's natural resources. Italy is blessed with abundant water resources. Italy has approximately 2,500 rivers and lakes and its annual renewable freshwater resources amount to about 2,000 cubic meters per capita. This level of fresh water is considered relatively high. But it's important to note that water distribution is not uniform across the whole country. Po River is the longest and provides a significant portion of the country's fresh water. Let's talk sustainability in Italy. Italy's been focusing on water management and conservation efforts. These include measures to prevent pollution, promote efficient water use in agriculture, and safeguard its freshwater ecosystems. These efforts should ensure a reliable freshwater supply for many, many decades. What about electricity in Italy? Italy's been making strides in renewable energy production, reducing its dependence on fossil fuels. Italy has made substantial investments in increasing its renewable energy capacity. The government has set ambitious goals to boost renewable energy production and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. By 2030, they aim to generate 30% of their energy from renewable sources. Ongoing investments in renewables and a commitment to reducing carbon emissions. Italy is on track to secure a sustainable energy supply for the future. Well, Italy is rich in agricultural resources. Italy's agricultural sector employs roughly 3% of the total workforce and contributes to roughly 2% of the country's GDP. Italy is the largest producer of wine in the entire world. Italy's farmers have been adapting sustainable practices to protect their fertile lands and maintain high quality food production. Italy exports a significant portion of its food products, which contributes to its economy. Food exports are valued roughly 44 to 46 billion euros per year. The longevity of these resources depends on several factors, including continued investments, sustainable practices, and global trends like climate change. But here's the kicker. Italy's commitment to sustainability and ongoing efforts should ensure availability for future generations. 3. South Africa South Africa got its own set of natural goodies. And they're quite interesting. South Africa isn't swimming in water like some other places, but they got decent reserves. They got rivers, lakes, and even underground water called aquifers. But there's a little problem. Sometimes they have issues with droughts, especially in certain regions. When it comes to longevity, if South Africa manages its water well, they should be okay for a while. South Africa's power game 
is a mix of things. They use coal, which is like their workforce for electricity, but they're also getting into renewables like wind and solar power. If they keep transitioning to cleaner energy sources and don't over rely on coal, which can be a bit dirty, they can keep the lights on for years to come. It's like having a variety pack of energy sources, which is definitely a smart play in the long term. In terms of food, South Africa got some good agricultural action going on. They grow things like maize, which is like corn, wheat, and they're big on fruits. Plus, they got a thriving livestock scene. In terms of sustainability, it's really important that South Africa make sure that they farm sustainably. That means protecting their soil and not overusing resources. You see, if they do it right, they can keep the food train running. If South Africa takes good care of its water, invests in cleaner energy, and farms responsibly, they should have these resources for quite some time. But it's important that they stay mindful about the challenges, like water scarcity during droughts, and work towards a sustainable future. Country number four, America. The United States of America got a bunch of natural resources tied to its name, and they're kind of big deal. The United States is pretty well off in the water department. They've got loads of rivers and lakes, and a long coastline. In fact, the Great Lakes alone contain roughly 84% of North America's freshwater supply. And they've got aquifers on the ground that store even more. With all this water, the United States is in a pretty good spot. But you know, they need to manage it wisely, make sure that they don't overuse their water supply too quickly. If they do that, their water supply should keep flowing for pretty long time to come. Let's talk electricity in America. When it comes to power, the United States got quite a few tricks up its sleeve. They use a mix of energy sources like coal, natural gas, nuclear, wind, and even solar power. They've got some of the world's largest power plants too. As long as they keep investing in renewable energy sources and don't blow up their power plants, they should have electricity for the foreseeable future. It's like having a lifetime supply of energy drinks. Americans are big on crops like corn, soybeans and wheat. And don't get me started on their ranches. They've got plenty of cattle too. Plus they've got a diverse food culture of all sorts of tasty treats. The challenge here is to keep farming sustainable. They've got to protect the fertile land from things like soil erosion. If they do it, they can keep the food train running. These resources could last for many more generations. If the United States takes good care of its water, invests in cleaner energy, and farms responsibly, they should have these resources for many, many, many more years to come. But as always, it's up to them to make sure that these resources are being used wisely. Now that we've talked about how important water, food, and electricity are for life, which of the discussed country is your favorite and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As far as I'm concerned, none of the big expat channels has addressed this issue so far. I'm glad that Nomad Elite is the first expat channel to discuss this very issue today. Thank you for watching.